I'm interested in public geographies. I'm interested in the in the role that geographical ideas play play in in public discussion. One of the big areas where geography plays a role in public discussion is in disease. Uh, really, with two uh, central concepts. One is the notion of contagion, and the other is a, an underlying geography of risk of disease. Um, this is. Uh, not supposed to be yellow, but uh, this is uh, the first uh, global geography of, dis of AIDS uh, uh, that was described uh, in 1988. And the only point I really want to draw your attention to was South Africa, where two, two pans were overlaid. There was no data for South Africa. It was simply a projection of, of the racial mix of the population. Uh, so race was used, being used to code disease. And the person who first really identified the importance of spatial metaphors in understanding disease was Susan Sontag, who talked about the metaphors that were used for understanding tuberculosis. So when AIDS came along, she returned to her research and wrote about the metaphors that were being used to understand AIDS. And the metaphor that she identified was the metaphor of war, that there was a war on AIDS, and AIDS made a war on your body. Um, and that got me to thinking, if this metaphor war is so bad, and she documents how it's bad, she looking at how contagion is a bad metaphor, could we design better metaphors? And if we were to design better metaphors, who might we recruit? And we might recruit artists, because artists try to understand society in ways that uh, produce broadly progressive outcomes, or at least some of them do. And uh, this is Sarah Schulman, who wrote a series of novels about AIDS, which highlighted Bohemia as a particular geographical notion, as a particular type of place. Her novel was ripped off by this musical Rent, which, which stripped it of all its politics. But effectively, what uh, Sarah Schulman was arguing was that in Bohemia, new types of lifestyle were developed, pro progressive and experimental lifestyles were developed. And she called her first book, People in Trouble, after Wilhelm Reich, who wrote in the 1930s that sexual repression produced people who followed authoritarian rule, more or less. So that sexual liberation produced people who had the creativity to deal with uh, uh, difficulties such as AIDS. So that safe sex might become a form of, of solidarity, that the sexual practice of safe sex could um, diffuse through um, another spatial metaphor, a network, a new form of practice. And this is David uh, Vodorovich's uh, uh, painting. And what he has in the centre is two men kissing, a rather loving image, but they're what's superimposed on them is a map. So it draws our attention to the fact that, that intimacy connects spaces. Uh, and these spaces that it connects are some of those private spaces of sexual congress. But the title of that picture, you, you will have noticed, uh, confronts the, the viewer with their own homophobia. And Von Arovich um, wrote a whole series of things about AIDS and memory, uh, building on this notion of solidarity through, through safe sex, uh, as did Diamanda Gallus, who is a performance artist in New York. What's interesting about Gallus for me is that she took up the notion of the Christian mass, and she really problematizes the notion of exodus within the Old Testament. Exodus within African-American uh, uh, spirituality was a release from slavery, you know, the swing low, sweet chariot, take me home. What, uh, what uh, Diamanda Gallus does is she stages a mass, but in this mass she refuses to go home. She says that she wants to stay on earth. I will not go, I shall not go. I shall not walk away from this place and from the charnel house of the dying. So the metaphor of the mass is used to force people to re-engage with the place around them rather than uh, seek uh, uh, release through, through death and an afterlife. Another example of this engaging in a very public way with a geographical metaphor is uh, Angels in America, the subtitle of which is a gay fantasia on national themes. But what Tony Kushner does in Angels, Angels in America is he takes up the whole notion of the West and of adventuring. And in gay parlance, uh, uh, adventuring is, is, is an alternative word for promiscuity, that, that having sexual adventures is something that, 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 that uh, is, is, is uh, part of, of sexual liberation. And so what um, Kushner does, he draws a parallel between the Mormons who were hounded out of Illinois uh, on the basis of, se of their, of their uh, uh, of sexuality, of their sexual practices, the marriage patterns and so on, <coughs> and draws a parallel between them and gay adventurers in the cities of, of, of the United States. And he argues that um, this, this adventuring is a very American thing to do. In other words, homosexuality is not aimed to America. And the final metaphor I want to draw your attention to is, 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 is the quilt which replicates the American geographical structure of the city grid, but also the structure of, of, of family quilts, where people knit panels together. Top right there is a, quilt, a, a panel actually made by David Von Arovich for his lover who died of AIDS, Peter, Peter Hujar. And what the quilt does is a very American thing, it's, it's, a, it's a folk tradition, but it also provides the possibility of, in, in one, many. In, in one quilt, many lives, not just out of many, one, but in one, many. And so it is diversity within 
a complex society. So it gives you a spatial metaphor for many tribes, one place. Thank you very much.